An Owasso Marine veteran is making sure his fallen brothers and sisters will never be forgotten. He has been carving wooden battlefield crosses with a chainsaw. Been doing it a long time since 2016. News on Six's Grant Stevens shows us how he does it and why making them for the families of fallen heroes is so important to him. It takes Anthony about six hours to finish one of these battlefield cross carvings, and he's working on this one right now. But he says the end result is well worth it. This symbol, the combat boots, rifle and helmet, serve as a powerful reminder of those we've lost in combat. That image brings back memories of the guys or the men and the women that they served with. Anthony Marquez served in Afghanistan in 2011. He started carving five years later. When you're carving, what are you thinking about? Uh, just thinking about the guys trying to get through another carving for them. He gave the finished battlefield crosses to the families of the 17 people in his unit who were killed in action. That was the whole reason behind it. Because I felt like I needed to do something for them. Since then, he's expanded his work to many more families. I've done 71 of them now. Um, in the past five years, five and a half years, roughly. Heather Saddam served with Anthony. She's helping him raise money for an upcoming documentary. To keep that memory alive of them, you know, these were our friends, they protected us. The documentary will follow Anthony as he revisits all those families he gave a battlefield cross to. The goal is to interview people who knew those veterans to keep their stories and memories alive. They sacrificed their life, you know, so. That was the greatest thing that they could give us was their last breath. And it's important that we uh, honor that and remember that. Anthony leaves tomorrow to start filming the documentary. In Sky Took, Grant Stevens, Oklahoma's own News on 6.